This video is for educational and entertainment use only. What's going on, AG? This stuff. Thanks more all girl philosophy. And this time, I'm going to talk about the philosophy of the word system and what a system actually is. So, the definition of system is basically parts or procedures of a thing that's all connected and basically forming a complex whole. That's what a system is. So now, when we say, oh man, the system just keep fucking with us, it just be doing shit to us, and it, let me explain something to you. The country was founded in 1776. Black people were slaves. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just be honest. The founding fathers that wrote the Constitution, they had some black men help them. But not all black men helped them because most black men, black women, were slaves. So when they wrote the Constitution, they wrote those laws and stuff, they didn't write those for us. So the system is not for us. It's for those that it's meant for. So when you say the system is hurting you or the system is against you, uh, the system not even for you. But, like I said, the definition of system is a procedures or basically a lot of things together to come up with a complex whole. Guess what? In the hood, it's a system in the hood. You know who to mess with, you know who to try to fight, you know who not to mess with. You know you better not do this, and you know you better. So it's a hood and a system. So what we can do is, rather than worry about the big system, we can just worry about and focus on our system, what we can control. Don't focus on the things that you can't control that's out of your control, that's, that's out of your hands. Focus on the things that you can control. When you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, you can control brushing your teeth. You can control getting in the shower. You can control all that when you go outside, which way you walk, how you walk, who you interact with. That's what you can control. Also, you can control your mannerisms. You can also control your voice. You can control your tone. You can control your attitude problem. You can control your anger. So rather than going outside, ready to mess up somebody else's day, which is going to trickle down and mess up somebody else's day, then trickle down and mess up somebody else's day, and they all going to come around because karma always do a circle, and it's going to come back to you. How about we all just get along with each other, be happy with each other, don't nobody do nothing wrong to each other, and everybody try to help each other. Think about how good our system can be if we all really just, you know what, you going to work for this, you going to work for that, you going to work for this, we, if we all got together, we could come up with us a company. How about we pool our resources together and come up with a company? Nobody in the hood thinks about that because we all have the individualistic mindset to where it's only me in the race and I'm racing against the whole world. Ha, ha, ha. And as I stated before, the rich continues to get richer and the poor just get poorer and they end up in prison. So if you know that it's people in the hood that actually have good jobs and all this how about people form a business to try to help the community inside the community now we actually have people from the hood that actually have businesses i'm gonna name three people we got ceo doing the clothing business you also got jay smooth she got a store she's doing the balloons and the um, clothing business as well and then you have kwanda with the hair business you have lynn nikki she got the popcorn thing going on what else, what else business you have out there? You have, we have uh, Frank Loop rapping. We got, right, we got numerous rappers out there. So if we have all of these people that have these businesses, how about we support one another? Not just, oh, I'm going to buy one of your shirts, or I'm going to buy uh, one of your songs, or I'm going I'm to... No! How about we do no money exchanging? How about we just, you know what? Who can you connect me with to get me further than you? Who can you connect me with to get me further? And the further everybody goes, the better it looks on the community. Right now, we have a lot of good rappers in the neighborhood. We have a lot of good things going on. We also got uh, Cordell. He's in New York. He, he with the fashion stuff. Like So we have a lot of different people that's doing different things, but we need to come together and really show, like, we can show the whole world, like, this one neighborhood has great talent with everybody. I even have my own talent of talking. We still got basketball players out there, baseball players, football players. We have an entire community of people with lots of talent. But guess what we doing? We get a tour with each other. We ain't helping each other. 
We ain't worried about each other. We just, oh, I see you. And really low-key hating on each other. Why? When we can all pull our resources together and just take off, off though. What people don't understand is two heads is better than one. But if it's 5,000 people in the hood, that's way better than one brain. If everybody just get together and just say, you know what? I'm sorry I did this to you. I'm sorry I did this to your loved one. From this day forward, can we move forward and try to better our community? Because like I said before, the crazy thing is, there's a lot of people that don't live in the community, yet they come into the community with the beef. So when they out there and they shooting up the community, but they don't live out there, the residents that actually live out there, they fear for their life. They don't want to go outside. These little kids around here running around, and they looking up to a lot of people that's doing the shooting, the drug dealing, and all that stuff. And I'm here to tell you, none of that stuff is cool. How about we put a real role model or role models and let them know this is the route that you can take, even with the rappers. I'm not saying y'all don't stop talking crazy because y'all be talking crazy, but that's that's how we was raised and how we grew up. Tell our story. That's what I want y'all to continuously do. Continuously tell our story and let the kids know, look, this is just entertainment, but at the same time, this is what I've been through. Like, So I'm just telling my story. I'm trying to get it out there to the world, make money, put the shine, and put the light on my neighborhood. And once the light is on my neighborhood, guess what we can do? All the schools that's out there, we can start donating books to the school, have better books, try to basically petition for better teachers to come out there. Like we can, we can really make the neighborhood into something good and stick together because a lot of neighborhoods is not trying to do that and they're not going to do that. The Chicago is just so split up in so many different ways that it is crazy. So like I said, we have our own system. How about we create and we hone our system and not worry about their system? Let me say that again. How about we hone our system and not worry about their system that wasn't meant for us so we got to understand that we come up with our own constitution in the hood and we have our own founding fathers and we know the rules and we set our own laws by laws and we, we can do all that in our own neighborhood and we really can but it's up to y'all to actually want to do it not just me speaking it I want to speak it into existence that's why I'm talking right now I want y'all to get aboard and really like, you know what, sit everybody down. That's what I plan on doing one day. Getting everybody from all sides that's into each other to get in the room and look. We need to hash all this out and this needs to stop. We can stop this right now. We way stronger to, together than apart. And once we do that, like it we you gotta think. Just imagine we got Ferraris, Bentley's, Rolls Royces, Dick, models, all the hood busting on a daily basis all day everybody out there walking around looking like this they own celebrity like this is my hood and we ain't letting outsiders come and mess our hood up ain't no beef inside the hood like all the beef coming from people trying to think they coming outside the hood coming in doing something stupid no ain't none of that uh -huh, bro. hey look don't go there if you ain't from there like and we really take over the hood make enough money and buy the hood though to where it's real Really our hood though, like come on now, like when I say I'm thinking like so far ahead, like this is real life thoughts like that I'm giving, like we can really do this. So like I said, that's the philosophy of the system that I want to create in our neighborhood. Cause I think AG really will go crazy. We get on the map and it's over with. We go shut everything down. We we really one of the last projects out there standing and we still standing. So like I said, I hope we can all get together, hash all our differences aside, and move forward. So, like I said, like, share, subscribe, post this video on wherever you want to post it at. And also, no matter what state, city, country, the hood in, it's all the same. Only thing changes the name. Duff. The views expressed in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon.